Hi guys, in the last video we dealt with wildcards, basically question mark and star. And this, for instance, is a is a is an example of what we did last 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 time. And I have basically like br question mark wn that searches for all for all surnames, which uh, start off with br end with wn, and in the middle that character in the middle could be anything could be an A, an O, a W, whatever. So then we get the result here. You can see we get the Bruin with, with a Y, Bruin with an E, Brown or Brown, okay? Now, there's another way to deal with wild characters and that's basically to put specific wild characters within two um, um, square brackets. And the way you do about it, let's say I just want to see the Browns and the bronze. I don't want to see Bruin or Bruin. Okay? And the way you do it, instead of putting a question mark, let me let me zoom that. The way you can zoom your uh, filters or anything here in, the, in that query is basically right click it and go to uh, zoom over here. And you get a bigger window for that. Now, what I'm going to write, instead of that question mark, I'm going to remove that question mark. I'm going to open up square bracket. I'm going to write in the two characters I want, the A for brawn and the O for uh, br brown. And then I'm just going to close that uh, 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 square bracket again. So basically now, um, <clears throat> in contrast to the question mark now, I'm only allowing two wild characters. One is the A and one is the O. Anything else is not allowed. Okay, now let me, let me, let's check it out. And there you see, we're only getting the names with an A or an O, and all the others are gone, okay? Now, that's one way of doing it. You can also put something else. You can say, okay, I can have a range, not just two or three characters within the um, uh, square brackets. I can have a range, for instance, let me zoom that again. For instance, I can say, allowed are all characters between A and E. So basically now I'm only allowing for A, for B, for C, for D, and for E. Anything between A and E. Okay, let's try it out. And now you can see Braun and Brune. O is not within that range, neither is uh, that, that uh, Y. You see, so th those names are gone. Okay, now if let's say you want all the names except those with with, with that character being between A and E, you just leave the way, let me zoom that again, I think it's much better for the video. So what I, I just, I leave the, the thing as it is, but I proceed that with an exclamation mark. Now what that means is that anything is allowed in here except any alphabet between A and E. Okay, and if I go on okay, and look at the data view, you see, anything is allowed except, as, as, as a third letter, anything is allowed except anything, any alphabet with, between A and E. So no A's, no B's, no C's, no D's, and no E's. All right? So that's, that's one way of, I, I, as well, I could say, I can, I can negate the previous, the first uh, query that I did. Oh, I always forget to zoom. Let me just zoom. So we had, as initial query was, O or E, uh, sorry, O or A, only that was allowed. So basically, I just proceed that with an, ex already has an exclamation mark. What that means is that all names are allowed except brown or brown. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. Now, another, another thing we did last time, let me just uh, remove that. Another thing we did last time was uh, we had uh, uh, the star wild character. For instance, we had W star, and we had, sorry, star, and we had then all the names which start with a W, okay? Now, let's say I want to have all names except those starting with W. So basically here, again, I use a square, a square brackets to include, I open up square bracket, I say not, basically exclamation mark, then W, and then close uh, the square bracket, okay? And if I zoom that, it will look something like that. Exclamation mark W, close 
within brackets and then you got the star as 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 the way we, we we had last last time and if i check that you see i get all names except those starting with a w okay now why the for the w on its own i don't need the square brackets but the exclamation mark if i need if i need the exclamation mark then i need to have those square brackets and proof is let me just remove the square brackets and you will see i will get nothing because in the Without those square brackets, it means I'm, I'm searching for names which start with exclamation mark W, and there is no such name. Okay, so that's why I need uh, the square brackets. And by the way, I can have I can I can I can uh, last time query was like W star. I can have that W within square brackets without an exclamation mark, and that would work. So let's just zoom it to see it better. So I can write like, oh, I had here a uh, good thing I zoomed because that's a curly bracket, not a square bracket. So like square bracket, W square bracket, and then star would work just as well as W star. No big deal. Okay, so that's that's sort of a, 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 a sort of an additional way how to deal with wild characters. Let me just summarize it quickly. So we initially had a question mark and now we did this within square brackets. What that means now I'm looking for a character. Let's, let me just write that here. So it was like this. So what that means is that I'm looking for a character between the R and the W and only A and O are allowed. Any other character is not allowed. With the question mark, any character was allowed. Okay, and here, basically same story, but here, here it means either A or O are allowed. Here it means anything between A and E is allowed. So basically A is allowed, B is allowed, C, D, and E, but nothing else, okay? And if you precede those with an exclamation mark, then anything is allowed but what is in the square brackets. Anything is allowed but either A or O. Anything is allowed but any alphabet between A and E, okay? And then last, we, last time we had W star, and we use the star as a wild character for any number of characters. And if you want to search for anything but those people starting with a W, you can say, for example, exclamation mark W and then star. So that basically searches for anybody except those people starting with a W. And you can obviously use it for other instances. For instance, we used to have last week something like sales. And you could have something like that. So that would look for all people except somebody involved with sales. And that's how you would use those square brackets to sort of limit or fine tune your wild character queries.